All right, class, we are going to make a, a snowflake today. And so uh, I've made a few, so I'm just going to show you them here. There's one. I was able to put letters on that, so let me spin that around so you could see. So this one just says KMS, and then if you spin it two more times, say CT8 at the top. So you can put letters in there if you want, and I'll show you how to do this. This is without the letters. Um, Here's one. This one is no good, and the reason it's no good is it's got uh, spaces in here, so it would not print. I would need to make sure these are together. Um, another one looks like this. So as you can tell, all of these are very unique to each uh, of the other ones that I've done, and I'm hoping yours is going to be just as unique. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a new, new file here. That way it um, you know how to start it. So we're going to go up here and hit new and we're going to do this in English and standard. So I'm going to double click that. I'm not sure why that says that. <clears throat> All right, to start off, we're going to do a start a new sketch and I'll bring up my three planes. We're going to do this on an X Z plane. So it's kind of like we're looking down on it. And the reason we use that, it's going to be easier to print uh, from that perspective. Okay. So I'm going to hit the circle button and we're going to make a two and a half inch circle to start out with. So I'm going to type in there 2.5 inches and say OK. And we know that that's going to be the size of our snowflake. OK, I'm going to put one uh, vertical line and it's going to follow um, the X um, axis. I'm going to hit line again, and I'm going to start in the very center again, and I'm going to go straight out and click. So notice uh, you could see one line, it's green, and the other line I have to kind of hover over it, and you could see it there. There's a white one. Okay. Now we need to get these two lines um, a distance apart that we need, so I'm going to click on this line, and then I'm going to click on the second line, and notice it gives me a degree because they're attached at the axis. It's going to give me a degree, and we're going to type in 30 degrees. All right, like we talked about in class, this is 12 o'clock. This would be 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, all the way around, but this is going to be 1 o'clock. Now, everything that I draw is going to be within this section right here. All right, so I'm just going to hit the line option, and then I'm just going to start making different shapes. And you can make it look however you want it to look. And I think I'm going to go back to, I'm going to hit the control Z twice. Now you want to stay away from this blue line here. So I'm just going to hover and get it close, but I'm not going to go to that line. There, I'm going to hit it. Okay. All right. So I've got, let me hit the escape button. Now I've got this weird looking shape here and I'm going to show you what it does. So I'm going to finish the sketch. And then I'm going to extrude that shape just like this. I'm going to put it at 0.1. That's going to be the thickness of it if we're able to print it. And this is what it looks like so far. Then from there, we are going to mirror it. So I'm going to hit this mirror button. I'm going to hit mirror. I want to mirror a solid. And then I want to mirror it along a plane. And this is the plane right here. And make sure that uh, it highlights this whole rectangle. And then I'm going to click OK. And it gives me a shadow of what it's about to create. And there it is. So now I've got this weird looking shape that is going to eventually become my snowflake. All right. So here, the second one, this is a circular pattern right here. So I'm going to click, click on a circular pattern. And I'm going to click on pattern solids. And then right here it says rotation axis. I want to click on rotation axis because we're going to be rotating this solid around this axis right here. You see where that turns white. I'm going to click OK. And then it tells me what it's going to do. It shows me that it's making a circular action throughout the whole thing. And I say, OK, let me see it. And there is my snowflake. All right. So you may like it. You may not. And if you don't, then we're going to go back up here to where it says extrusion. I'm going to hit this little arrow, 
and double click on sketch. I'm going to double click on sketch. And now I can change what this looks like. So I can start moving things around, moving things forward. Um, doesn't matter uh, how you do it. I can even do this. I can make a circle. Uh, I could put a circle in there. And then I'm going to use this trim button right here to I'm gonna highlight, trim off everything that I don't want because I want one continuous line. And say finish my sketch and notice how it changed. All right. You might say, man, I just really still don't like it. Then go back to sketch one and then try something else. Maybe you want another circle. I like the circle part. So I want to create a circle. Say OK. Go to my trim button. And I want to trim out those things that I don't want. Again, I'm making sure this is one continuous line. Finish sketch. And that's what it looks like. All right. So you could try these uh, and keep going back to sketch one, trying different things until you get a snowflake that you really like. Okay. That is it.